people I clearly don't like, but for some reason still keep showing up at my office door every five minutes. Here's a history lesson you desperately need. Because you don't listen. And you're stupid. And ugly. Mm -hmm. It was but 50 years ago that the Rumplick brothers, two Slaberians, made the first advancements in aviation technology by taping cardboard wings to a toddler and throwing him off a cliff and into a pit. Since then, there have been countless attempts to build a solid aircraft that Transfattlevania can be proud of. All of which failed miserably, but were certainly entertaining to watch, I can tell you that. Meanwhile, a retired German colonel Fast food tycoon and complete asshole known as crazy old Klaus von Hindenburger was in the vigorous process of designing a prototype of the first fast food dirigible in recorded history. The Pickledill Zeppelin was the first in his series of attempts. Transvetylvanian scientists said he was crazy. They were right as it turned out. The Zeppelin exploded. He then built a second one. Which also exploded. Shit! Get the duct tape! And a third, which caught fire, crashed into the hangar, and then exploded. Oh, come on! <laughs> ah, science, you naughty person. Then at the Hindi Lu Dirigible Company in Katzenstrausser Dusseldorfenberg, the burger crowd over there developed the ultimate advancement in fast food Zeppelin technology since the electric frisbee. The Hindenburger! Her massive hull is seven parking lots long, complete with 12 engines that run on the completely safe resource of nuclear waste having a workplace accident every other day. It contains 255 tons of ammunition, can hold up to 30,000 passengers, has five-star dining, eight gift shops, 15 bowling alleys, a water park, and a proctologist office. She is the feat of trans ingenuity that will make our nation's Air Force the most feared in all the world and part of Detroit, Michigan. Whoopee! Yeah, the dream of an unstable flying tub of jet fuel that can carry a bunch of obnoxious jackasses away from me is now a reality. And it's all thanks to the Hindenburger, the new glutton of the sky. I'm Generalissimo Grunt, now I'm going to drop Tom Brady from my fantasy team. <laughs>